wanted to show you as we promised around our rig. So this is the Catalina bunkhouse. Uh, here is the model number. 301 BHSCK. So the reason we wanted this was it really worked for our needs with having a family. Um, I think on our list of criteria it was we wanted it to have a, a proper full bath with a little tub. We wanted it to have an outdoor kitchen and we wanted it to have a separate sleeping area for the kids. And then we got a lot more on top of that, but that was our basic criteria. So get your basic criteria down before you start RV shopping. Um, so we can start off with the outdoor kitchen. We'll do everything on the outside first. So this is, this is mommy's medicine cabinet. So I have uh, all our drinks in here, uh, mainly, mainly adult drinks. Um, but it's a good size refrigerator. Um, when you open up the outdoor kitchen, you have a handy roof right here, so if it's chucking it down with rain. Um, plenty of storage. We have a plumbed in sink. Um, with a separate gray tank, actually. So mm -hmm. this is a 40 gallon gray tank for the rear, and then the internal gray tank is about 40 again for both. Again, plenty of drawer space. It does come with this slide out grill. Um, but to be honest with you, it's, oh yeah, <laughs> to be honest with you, it's not fabulous, not very good at cooking, and um, so it's there if you need it for an emergency, but we don't really like this grill, um, and you have to plug it into a separate gas bottle, there is no hook up for the grill. So that's the outdoor kitchen. It's handy because you can keep all the kids' drinks in the fridge out here. They don't need to keep running in and out and dirty and up the right. um, Separate screen door, which is essential. Um, it's got a little cover as well, so you can just have it, um, the door open, let the air through, but have the screen. Great, keeping the bugs out. And if you want to come inside. So this has, is this a super slide? Yes. This has a super slide, so from here to here slides in fully for when we're driving, but as you can see, plenty of space in here. We have a double sink, um, nice and deep. Oh, I've got water in that one, uh, but a double sink in here. Um, we have enough surface area for our coffee pot. This morning we had a toaster on here too. We've got our Brita jug. Um, again, plenty of storage. We have an area for a trash can just around here. We have a shoe garage right here, but you could really use it for anything. Um, we don't have a TV in here. We have it just in the kids' room because we're not really in here watching TV, to be honest, but you could bring a TV, games console. We have radio with a CD player. DVD. Oh, DVD. Um, storage, again, galore. We have this big, massive couch, which is trifold, and uh, it turns into a bed, just like that, um, which is really nice because it gives you options to have... <laughs> oh, I forgot, I better do that first, don't I? Um, gives you plenty of options for people staying over. And there's tons of storage underneath as well, as you yeah. saw as it popped over. Storage under there. Um, we have our dinette here. Storage, storage goes down becomes a bed um, nice big windows um, more storage we've put on the walls just with command hooks and then in the kitchen we have microwave oven stove top nice big fridge freezer as you can see completely full <laughs> you can tell mommy's vegetarian at the moment lots of vegetables more storage again um, for me this was one of the must-haves having a full bath with a tub and we have full bath with a tub. Um, it's got a nice skylight in there for um, letting the natural light in, shower curtain, storage again. It's got a fan in there for the old stinkies. And then this is again more storage. So we hang all our coats up in here. Um, and we've also got a separate pantry area here. And then we go into the girls' bunk house. So this is the girls' domain. Um, so we've got a little table area for them. Um, one of the things we really liked about this one is this tabletop comes off, the legs come off. There is a door right here. We can use this for storage. 
So we actually put the girls' bikes in here um, for when we're traveling. They have their TV, games, console area here, stepladder, plenty of storage, also storage under this one right here under this seat. We've got a big bunk here and then on this side we have another bunk both with windows and this one has the emergency exit with it as well. So this is the girls domain and it's, it's awesome. The dog sleeps in here with them um, and our room down at the opposite end. Okay, so we're now at the opposite end of the camper. Bunkhouse is all the way down there, so kids can do that thing. And then in here, we have our queen size bed. We have a door, which is nice. Um, nice big windows. We have extra storage up here for blankets and um, extra sheets. Um, we put a mattress topper on the bed as well. Um, just for comfort, um, but we have plenty of closet space, we'll have these on both sides and they're nice deep and deep, they go all the way back. And you do have a spot just behind where you are to put another TV in here if you wanted, but again, we're not really in here watching TV to be honest with you. But we can walk all the way around this bed which is nice, um, and underneath this bed, yep, you've guessed it, more storage. And that's pretty much a tour of our camper, but there is one tip. One thing that I will tell you, if you've got families, you need to take this with you. I'm gonna come back with it. Always make sure you have a tooth fairy door that you can put up, because <laughs> you randomly have your kids' teeth falling out and they panic the tooth fairy is not gonna find them. So put a fairy door in one of your drawers. Thanks again for joining us on our little overview of our camper. As a, a reminder, it's a, about 33 foot long, 35 with a hitch. It's about 11 foot too high and it is about 9,000 pounds total weight. So a dry weight of uh, 66.56 apparently, 9,000 full with a cargo weight of 2,300 pounds. The freshwater capacity was 46 gallons. Both of the grey tanks were 35 each, one for the rear, one for the front, and the black water was about 30 gallons as well. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot.